Hello friends, this is Durga and uh, from Technology Mentor slash IT Varsity. As part of uh, a series of few videos, I will be covering uh, uh, Hadoop introduction and uh, the end of this uh, um, uh, video as well as few uh, subsequent videos is to talk about big data very briefly and uh, Hadoop core components, Hadoop ecosystem as well as difference between Oracle and Hadoop. Um, very high level difference there will be a separate playlist which actually uh, um, explains you subtle differences between oracle and hadoop based databases but in this uh, uh, series as a hadoop introduction i will just cover very high level um, differences so history of big data uh, so uh, uh, in the 90s as well as early 2000s most of the applications are built to solve business problems uh, which addresses core business uh, like banking transactions uh, so if you if you uh, credit uh, money from one account and uh, if you debit money from one account and credit to other account uh, that has to be either committed or rolled back uh, as a unit it should not uh, it should never da uh, be in a inconsistent state so either uh, the transaction has to be uh, the transaction which involves De, uh, reducing money from one account and addition money to another account as part of database operations in several tables has to be either committed in as one unit or rolled back as uh, one unit if there is any issue. So keeping those things in mind, uh, the uh, uh, the technology have evolved, uh, especially in the uh, da database world. Uh, a scientist called Cod have proposed twelve Cod rules to address uh, uh, what all features, to explain what all features, a reliable database which can store all this transactional data in the data uh, 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 to support the applications. <coughs> and, uh, uh, but if you think about it, Google's problem is completely different. Uh, at that time, there are very few companies who try to build such engine and uh, as there is no other alternative what google have started I is uh, is it started using mysql which is uh, open source database or probably the cheapest ones at that time i'm not sure whether it is open source or uh, um, uh, paid at uh, when google started but as per my uh, knowledge um, uh, or information google have started with mysql database uh, MySQL database is a relational database which includes all these uh, um, uh, voice call rules to support uh, uh, core business applications. Uh, but for search engine where the Google has to crawl all the web pages in the internet, uh, dump the data in, uh, uh, into a database and uh, 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 make the data available for such format, uh, it is uh, not a transaction based system at all. So when, uh, but still, they, as there is no other alternative, they have gone with MySQL, and uh, they went up to 2,000 uh, instances of MySQL. As per my knowledge, I might I might not be 100% right, but uh, they built a very huge cluster, and uh, uh, soon they realized that it is it is no more scaling up uh, because of the transactions. Transaction uh, um, uh, 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 the features that are implemented in transactions for MySQL is actually causing issues uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, for Google search engine to scale. So uh, because of that, what uh, uh, Google have done is they have developed uh, three uh, different uh, components from scratch. One is a distributed file system where a file will be divided into blocks and the blocks uh, and physically it will be stored in blocks. And the second one is MapReduce. Uh, which is a distributed processing which understands this uh, distributed file system uh, uh, thoroughly as it is developed in tandem with uh, uh, Google file system. And third one, once you have, uh, so uh, uh, what happens is uh, once, uh, what used to happen is, uh, or even today what's happening is uh, Google crawl all the web pages or websites uh, in the internet uh, uh, and build uh, very large files and dump into distributed file system. And on that, they, they run MapReduce to process the data. Uh, don't worry if you don't understand the term MapReduce, you will understand by the end of the course. Uh, they process a lot of data using MapReduce, and it, uh, MapReduce is ba batch processing, uh, uh, processing engine. If you want to get results in real time, uh, then uh, neither GFS or MapReduce can support directly. So 
so for that reason they have uh, built a component called big table uh, which is uh, different from uh, rdbms tables it's a key value uh, data will be stored in key value pairs and data will be automatically sorted uh, in keys so once the data is processed um, uh, they they uh, they push that data into this big table which is highly scalable um, uh, key uh, key, uh, key value type of table and when you actually search from your web browser it goes to pro probably it might go to this big table uh, big table in the back end and get the results faster as the data is sorted uh, they can uh, start uh, leveraging uh, 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 features like scan and give you suggestions when you start typing in google so that's how google has solved the problem of scalability by developing solutions such as gfs map reduce and big table uh, 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 to give the uh, more robust and scalable search engine for us and uh, rest is the history so after google is uh, uh, um, uh, google got their share of success they have published three white papers and uh, those white papers i will uh, uh, are uh, on all these three components gfs map reduce and big table and i will come back to uh, what happened after uh, uh, after publishing the white papers in a moment um, after speaking about the characteristics of big data so uh, big data characteristics is 3v 3v is very famous uh, these days when, when we talk about big data and 3v stand for volume variety and velocity volume in the sense if you think from google's perspective they are uh, um, uh, they are actually crawling through millions of uh, websites uh, over the internet and um, uh, uh, and hence the volume will be very high and also uh, by, when they are crawling they are crawling uh, images they are crawling uh, unstructured and semi structured data so even the variety, there is lots of variety of uh, data whereas in traditional rdbms you only have structured data where you have to define a pre uh, where you have to have a predefined schema to store that data without schema you cannot store in traditional databases so variety is the uh, second characteristic of big data and third is velocity velocity in the sense uh, uh, you should process data as fast as possible it need not be milliseconds or seconds but if you think from google's perspective uh, yeah, by crawling today's data at least they should be able to provide uh, such results either today or tomorrow if if they pro, uh, if they crawl today's data uh, when election campaign is going on and if they uh, if the search results start reflecting uh, uh, four or five days down the line uh, then uh, you will see relevant uh, search results and uh, people will discard using that so for that reason velocity is very important this uh, high volume data has to be processed in timely manner uh, so that you can get uh, uh, um, uh, results uh, uh, in desired fashion and uh, what happened to the white papers is uh, um, uh, few people led by duck cutting uh, from google facebook uh, uh, netflix i think linkedin uh, oracle pulled and uh, implement started implementing those white papers using java and uh, uh, they try to uh, uh, they, they try to uh, uh, they have developed uh, the white paper uh, uh, the specifications that are defined in google file system white paper um, uh, uh, they have developed something called hdfs hadoop distributed file system completely in java and in tandem they also have developed something called hadoop map reduce uh, again in java uh, which can understand this hdfs thoroughly and can uh, uh, can get desired and uh, distributed processing uh, and uh, also for other use cases where uh, they are operational but not transactional uh, for example uh, uh, the search engine uh, when you search the results have to be uh, you you need to get the results faster but uh, there is no transaction involved in it and you, uh, if you think about it there are many applications which are uh, online now uh, all the uh, apps uh, analytics all these things when you try to read the information it has to read in real time but uh, there are no transactions in that you go to linkedin you uh, check the complete web page each frame is developed as a different web application 
like endorsements, recommendations, uh, you, e even your profile. Uh, so at least 80-90% of LinkedIn website and there are no transactions invo involved in that. Only when you try to uh, enroll for uh, a premium uh, uh, or subscribe for premium services of LinkedIn where you have to pay uh, monthly charge, there only transactions come in comes into picture. For all other purposes, uh, 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 l there are no transactions in LinkedIn. Similarly, the case with Facebook. Your social networking platform, uh, publishing ads, uh, pages, uh, 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 Facebook Messenger, almost everything, uh, 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 albums, everything are just operational but not transactional. So for those kinds of scenarios, now we have alternative uh, in uh, using NoSQL and almost all the databases that are under NoSQL like Cassandra, HBase, MongoDB, uh, CouchDB, DynamoDB, there are uh, many of them and all are influenced uh, from Google Bigtable. Uh, but as part of Hadoop ecosystem, we have HBase, which serves that purpose of uh, 